Another electric truck was unveiled today, this time from Bollinger. And I know you've seen uh, the uh, the sketches and even kind of uh, uh, a toy type of models from them. Uh, but today they've unveiled a working prototype. This is very important because, you know, it's a small company and, you know, it was it was it was four years um, that they've been de developing this uh, this truck and an SUV as well, actually, in the same platform. Um, today, they're saying, boom, they got it. The, 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 the prototypes are working. And obviously, this is a big step because the next step is the production. They had an unveiling in Michigan. Um, I was invited. Um, unfortunately, I could make it. Uh, and it was a very interesting. I've never seen an unveiling like that. We'll talk about that as well. But I'm also going to talk about, you know, what does it mean for how, how is it going to compete with Rivian and and, and Tesla and, 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 you know, a few other ones that are coming to the market. So we'll see where it, where it um, actually uh, sort of fits there. I'll tell you about a few specs that they've unveiled and some that they didn't. Uh, and uh, I'll tell you a little bit about the truck as well. Actually, I'm going to let the CEO of the company, Robert Bollinger, tell you about this because uh, it will be a little clip from the interview that I had with him uh, a, a while back. So let's talk about it all right now. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click on that subscribe button down there so you don't miss anything moving forward. All right, so the unveiling just happened. As a matter of fact, they're still streaming live. Uh, just, just kind of the guy gets the party and stuff like that. Uh, and it was very interesting, as a matter of fact. So I, so I couldn't download that file yet to play it for you. Uh, you know, I just want to make sure that I make this video pretty much right away because, you know, I wanted to get it out there for you. And also, I had to go to lunch. So there. Uh, so this is this is kind of a, a, a show shot from uh from uh, that uh, kind of right now as you can see uh and you know just very chill um this is the first time uh, we've learned that they actually do know how to use color cameras <laughs> all of their all of their pictures and videos are usually in black and white uh and, and an interesting part that but the, the trucks are still in black and white as you can see but um and by the way so what the trucks are is that's where the stage is if you think that all this pretty colors on the back uh it was the stage no uh, uh that's like a bar and something else so they kind of use the most modest type of the <laughs> you know background for the unveiling it literally felt like a kind of a office birthday party and it lasted for maybe just a few minutes uh, uh robert bollinger the ceo came out and he was pretty emotional which i i really like to see um you know he you know it was a long road for them and this is the dreams realized and you know it's good to see people behind the product to be you know very emotional and stuff like that he introduced us to the entire team and they just kind of like showed us a quick clip uh rolled the trucks out took a picture and like all right here we go and and then all the media who did make it uh you know started taking pictures and videos and stuff like that which is kind of normal so uh, anyway, um, yeah, it, it, it's not. Now, before I get to the uh, specs and talk about Rivian and uh, and uh, uh, Tesla trucks, uh, upcoming trucks, uh, let me tell. Let me have Robert uh, tell you about what their vision uh, was originally for this truck. It still is the same vision, uh, and this is from my interview with him um, a few months ago. So here we go. Yeah. So basically, what the truck is is the idea of it was to put everything in one truck that you want and could use. So it's like a multi-purpose tool. So it's got all the off-road credentials like crazy. It's you know more ground clearance than anything that's on the road. Uh, and it can hold lumber, it can you can plug uh, you know you can go anywhere with it. It's it's uh you can convert it. It's a it's an incredible truck. So it's one it's kind of the opposite of anything anything else that's out there on the road and that's the whole point of it is is basically when I went to go buy an electric vehicle, there wasn't anything I could really, really use or really, really wanted. I test drove a lot of them. They're all great. Um, everything's got to go electric and they and it will. But um, this is basically just made the truck that I wanted to buy. All right, that's pretty cool. By the way, did I age like 10 years from that? That was like maybe like a few months. I Yeah, anyway. So, um, no, very cool concept. And obviously, uh, you know, we'll, we'll revisit this, what, what he said, because I think um, this is the big contrast between Rivian and 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 uh, uh, um, Tesla, uh, that at least what they're working on. And um, as, as I said, their videos are always in black and white uh, when they're um, when they present. But so just so you know, there's an electric truck version, but there's also an SUV version, kind of like a Rivian concept, right? They just same platform and everything. Um, 
And uh, here's the uh, here's the uh, SUV version. Um, it's just I I think it's just a little bit shorter. But very let me know in the comment section if you like the look. A lot of people love the look, but some people think it's too simplistic. Um, you know whatever. We'll 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 discuss that. All right. So let's move on to the specs uh, and take a look at a few other pictures that they've sent us. Uh, before that, of course, a quick reminder uh, that this video and this channel is sponsored by Byton. Check out their all electric SUV coming to the US, coming to Europe, starting about forty five thousand US dollars. 45,000 euros in Europe. Um, get on the get on the get on the waiting list. Over 50,000 people there. It costs absolutely nothing to get on there to reserve your Byton. Uh, about 60 seconds of your time. Um, so uh, go to the description of this video and reserve your Byton today. All right. So let's let's take a look at some pictures. Let's talk about some specs. So first of all, 120 kilowatt hour battery, um, and uh, this only gives you 200 mile range. Um, so that just tells me that. Um, they, they either have a very inefficient battery technology or they are really uh, uh, specking this for, for a lot of work, right? For a lot of off-roading, as, as, as uh, Robert said, and uh, probably a lot of uh, towing capacity and so forth. So I would be interested to say what the, what the real uh, life uh, EPA is without all of that, if you just want to drive. Um, so I'm going to assume that that's the case here. Now, one thing that I was a little bit put off by is a 100 mile um per hour top speed not that i ever want to go faster than you know maybe 80 or 90 ever but you know th this kind of stood out for me um then uh yeah so, so now here's here's a weird part now just like porsche Taycan, and i've been pretty critical of that and i will be again in my video with tom uh Malogny, who's going to be on this channel on saturday because he just has drove one through europe for a few days um i don't th th these guys also went with a two-speed gearbox in you know the whole point of this whole new technology how much simpler it is is that you do no longer have a gearbox a transmission all that stuff you know it, it it it's more maintenance obviously more things to go wrong and more replacements parts and and you know i and and they decided to go with it just like porsche did and i, I gotta tell you i just don't like it i think this technology is uh, uh should be perfected with without a gearbox so so that's one uh, one thing i'm not really big into but you know if some of you like uh, who really get into this can can tell me where i'm wrong there i'll i'll be more than happy to listen uh, also 614 horsepower uh for this baby as well as you can see this truck looks really really like a working man truck like bare minimum um this is uh the frunk if you will kind of a almost a tunnel if you will kind of a rivian style <clears throat> now so let's talk about rivian and, and and a little bit now by the way we don't know the pricing they said they're going to give us the pricing by the end of the year a little odd because you know they should know that by now but i guess they still need to work with their suppliers and i understand that um now, the Rivian, as you know, it's a luxury adventure vehicle where, you know, uh, where, you know, Bollinger, uh, B1 and B2, so B1 is the SUV, B2 is the truck, um, you know, it's a very much off-road, um, you know, tough guys type of a truck with minimalistic stuff in there. Um, and, you know, I guess we can guess the price. And I would also say if you have a 120 kilowatt hour battery, you kind of probably going to be between 70 and 80 uh, thousand US dollars. You know they are not making it probably in a, in large volume, especially in the beginning. So I don't think it's going to be hitting the same people. I I, I think uh, you know people who are really into off roading will go for the Bollinger. People who are into like um, just having a truck to ride around in every every day and um, and overlanding as they call it will go with the Rivian. Now Tesla truck. You know, obviously it's going to be cheaper. It's going to start at around fifty thousand. At least that's what uh, what Elon told us. Um, it, you know it. it we don't know what the cyberpunk thing is. From what I understand, the reasons that they're delaying the, the unveiling of the truck, which I believe is now going to be November, um, is because they're still trying to figure out if they want to go for a really radical design or kind of polish it uh, a little bit more towards some more conventional design, which I think is much better way to go. So I don't even know where a Tesla truck would fit in here. Now again, back to the images, as you can see the lights. Now this might be hard to clean, by the way. Is it just me or is it like, that's the first thing I'm thinking about. It's gonna be hard to scrub this thing up. Um, and this is the back, <laughs> this is the back of the truck. Uh, and uh, the next one is, this is the SUV. I mean, this looks like, you know, hardcore old school ra uh, Range Rover, right? I mean, uh, it, I, I like it. So, um, and this is the uh, this is the picture of the uh, you know so so four four five seater there. I think four seater they almost have like working benches in between. Um, so this is the front. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, plenty of uh, room in the back, as you can see, the back opens up and you can kind of go like all the way through into the cab. That's an interesting concept. 
and um, this is basically the picture kind of from the uh, from the floor of the uh, of the uh, of the truck um, so that's 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 very 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 interesting let me know especially those of you guys who have like a uh, work trucks if you think that this is um, this is something that's that's appealing to you so all right uh, let's look at a few more I think my computer's starting to freeze because these pictures are humongous even though they're like uh, even though they're a very, a very uh, a black and white. Okay, so hopefully that froze. Um, so the next one is the one that I pretty much use in my. Uh, okay, look at let, let's look at the inside. And it, it, this one looks like you know your 1950s trucks. You know one of those like trucks that you see parked in front of cool restaurants that haven't been in operation for like you know 30 years. It looks that way, and I think it's kind of cool. Let me know. Like there's no flat screens, nothing. It's just an old school stuff with this gear. I, it's very refreshing. I think there will be plenty of people who will find it pretty cool. Um, and let me know what you guys think. So I'm, I'm very interested. But listen, here's the thing. Uh, uh, obviously, welcome. This is another startup that was kind of, you know, they, they had, you know, small financing. They didn't have a billion dollars like some of these other companies like Byton and Lucid and, and, and now Fairlight Future. Uh, you know, I, and, and they did it. They they have working prototypes. It's a, it's a really big deal. And I really, really glad that they're on the market. This is a very right time for a pickup truck. Um, and, and you know, I'm, I will catch up with them in a, at the LA Auto Show and I'll check it out in person. But let me know what kind of questions you guys have. I have a feeling you have very different questions that uh, for most uh, of the EV. So I'm going to crowdsource that. I'm going to ask Robert when I see him the delay auto show hopefully um so yeah um looking forward to those comments of course don't forget to um uh, join my patreon community and thank you to one of my newer patreon kevin chandler thank you so much for uh, contributing to you know my full-time job really this is this is this is it this is how i make my money uh go to patreon.com slash e for electric if you want to uh, join my page and community and and watch me live this is one of the biggest perks there and of course don't forget to subscribe to our vip list where we uh send out um bonus articles at the end of each week something that we just can't fit into this uh, pretty busy uh, week. Um, I make videos every day. So um, yeah, I, I, I appreciate that as well. All right, looking forward to your comments. Other than that, see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged.